Hi everybody, it's good to see you again. I'm scientist Renee and today we are going to look at Waves Energy and Information Lesson 2.2. We're going to visualize how sound travels. We talked about vision last time where we're picturing stuff in our mind. So we're going to try to picture sound. It seems like an interesting idea. We're going to do this a couple different ways. So when you investigated sound in our last lesson, you were going around your house. You heard sound traveling through the air. You might have heard sound traveling through a pillow. You might have heard sound traveling through a wall. You might have heard sound traveling through a floor if you were on the top floor and a little brother or sister was on the bottom floor. So no matter where you were, you could hear some sounds. Sometimes you probably couldn't hear them quite as well, but I bet you could always hear a little bit of something. So sometimes in science, we use simulations to see things that we can't see with our own eyes. So simulation to continue, continue investigating what sound can travel through. We're going to observe what happens when sound travels through a material. Now, before we get started, we're going to think of a new vocabulary word, the word vibrate. Vibrate means to move back and forth quickly. So take a second and see if you, what does vibrating look like. Awesome. Your vibrating might have looked different. My vibrating would look like this. My hands are vibrating right now. They're moving back and forth really quick. So in the sim, you're going to see some stuff vibrating. Now, when you're using the sim, you're going to observe me doing a couple different things. You have your Waves Energy and Information student sheet. It's labeled WEAR. You can also, if you have your investigation notebook at home, you're going to be using pages 26 and 27. And specifically right now, you're going to be looking on page 27. So in just a second, I'm going to open the simulation. I'm going to pick an instrument, I'm going to press play, and you're going to observe what happens with your eyes and your ears. We're going to record observations of what we see in here, and then we're going to do it one more time. So we're going to do the first one here. So I am in the Soundwaves app. Whoa! I see a lot of stuff going on here. I see all these little pieces moving. And so I've got some instruments over here. It looks like I can change the instrument. I can do, oh, I can do a piano. I can do a drum. I can do a flute, a violin, a viola, a cello, and a double bass. I think I'm gonna try piano. So I'm gonna turn my volume way up on my computer because I want you to be able to hear what's going on. And I'm going to press play. Let's see if we can do this again. We'll press, press play with a double bass. Whoa. Wow, let's try that again. Huh. One more time, and then we're going to make some observations in our student work page. Huh. There is a lot going on here. And so in our directions, it told us that we're going to select an instrument. The instrument that we selected this time was a double bass. 
That's a big string instrument that makes a really low sound. You probably heard how low that sound was. We're going to turn our volume back down to here. Now observations, we pressed play and we're going to write what we saw using our eyes and ears. So, hmm, I saw a lot of things. The first thing that I saw happen was I saw the part on the right side move back and forth. I'll get this one more time too. I also saw those little circles, those little pieces, I saw them moving a lot. And I saw them moving in a line, same thing that I did. And I'm just going to fix my spelling so that I spelled pieces right. And I'm going to play it one. The first thing I saw was I saw some stuff moving over here, and then I saw it do something to these pieces. Hmm. Now my screen's a little herky-jerky, so it's a little hard to see, but I want you to imagine sound here. There we go, and we see it moving back and forth, and Whoa, watch that line of pieces move. Huh. So we're going to try this with one other instrument. I'm going to go back to the app, the simulation. And this time, let's do a violin. A violin is another string instrument. It's smaller than a cello. Let's see what that looks like. I'm trying to get to the right screen here. Here we go. Oh. Something different happened that time. I'm going to turn my volume up again. Whoa. Huh. I saw some different stuff happen this time. That was pretty cool. So I'm going to go. And the instrument that we heard this time a violin. Now, I want to give you a second to write down your observations. You're going to write down your observations and then I'm going to pause the video. We're going to have two parts to this video. This part one and then we're going to have part two. So before we go to the next part I want you to write down your observations and when we come back together we'll talk about that. See you soon.